All right, Ian, we got to talk about WADA. Really, really Heritage Auctions. So Heritage Auctions has their has their sort of sealed video game auctions. Uh, <clears throat> the bigger ones go off about once a month here. And a month ago, um, we, we spoke about the insane Atari 2600 uh, auctions that went off. Uh, which NS it was never shrink wrapped. We, we discovered, which I thought it was not sealed, never shrink wrapped. So games that are still sealed but not shrink wrapped, unopened games, whatever. So a couple of the ones that stood out, there was a bunch that stood out, but Adventure. But then the big one was Parker Brothers Spider Man on the twenty six hundred. And at the time, I thought it made sense to me because it was Spider Man, but not. Not like, not like. Okay, this is a a sane price, but I understood how it got there. So what I said at the time was that there's plenty, not just plenty of Spider-Man Atari 2600 games around. There are plenty of ones that are unopened. Oh yeah, still absolutely. Then this goes back to the video game crash and then making way too many of these to the early 90s. They were still selling uh, unopened Atari 2600 games. I want to say probably to 89, 90, 91. Like, I remember being a kid when I was looking for NES games and they still had the clearance fucking thing there. These, they, Sure. And we're not even talking about new old stock. We're not talking about stuff that's stuck in warehouses. We're not talking about stuff that was sold to liquidators. We're not talking any of this stuff. I mean, we're, there's there's pictures of, uh, of like, conventions, uh, like Classic Gaming Expo 20 years ago when they first uh, did it, or even 15 years ago. They have stacks of, you know, unopened Atari games on the table. When I used to go to these conventions... I, I didn't even pay attention to the unopened Atari games because no. I knew these aren't anything to worry about. Yeah. There's a lot of them out there. And I remember buying dollar. I remember buying Atari 5200 games from the dollar store. They had them like, at the dollar in store? In like 91. Yeah. They had them at the dollar store. So the point is this, is that we knew that th- th- there was, there was, we'll just say, uninformed speculation going on here. And that's the nicest way I can do it when sure. it comes to these Atari games. Um, but now we have sort of the, the real evidence that this is what's been happening because already within a month, we have seen a similarly priced, uh, excuse me, similar, similar grade, exact grade. It was like a 9.8, uh, 9.8, Sealed Spider Man go for from was it over nine thousand dollars to two thousand seven hundred and sixty dollars in this latest auction that just ended on June twenty second. Jesus, a nine point eight A plus plus sealed Atari twenty hundred. That basically means that was pulled probably from a shipping box. Yeah, if, if it's in that condition, right? Like untouched. Here. So what does that tell you, Ian? It tells you that. People I didn't know anything about video game collecting said, oh my God, this is a pristine copy of this. This is going to be the next big thing. It's Spider-Man. It's a comic book character. And it's even older than NES games. It's a few years earlier. It's early 80s. Yeah. This is going to be worth even more money. Not doing any research to know the market of, of Atari 2600 games versus other video games that exist. How it's not sought after in the grand scheme of video game collecting overall. Partially because Atari is not a household. It's a household name and like barely whispers anymore if you want to say it's a household name. Sure. But there's just so many of these out there. You cannot justify this price sticking. I'm surprised that someone even bid up to $2,700 on this. I'm shocked by it. Because when you, go yeah. on e- when you go on eBay, Ian, there is a dealer on eBay. Spider-Man 2600 WADA that had several listed for sale and still does. There is an eBay vendor that has one, two, three, four, five of these graded, five graded. And there's a person that has a six one graded, all sealed and they run between a 8.0 to 9.4, 9.6, 9.8. I don't care if this is a 10. It's Spider-Man on the 2600. I don't care what grade you think, right. what, what, what this is. But the person that's selling five of these um, is a comic book vendor that has this. So they're getting it on the action. 
I'm and not that, su- well, and that's that's what I said the last time. I said that the reason that went so high is someone outside of video games looked at it and said Spider Man is popular. Old Spider Man stuff can be worth money, and they went nuts on it without really knowing what the fuck was going on. Sure. But when you have a drop, drop, mm, drop of of less than half of the value from one month to the to the to the next. That's that should be alarming out there if you are uh, a speculator. Unless you have so much money to throw around that, hey, I'll take a nine thousand dollar loss back. on yeah, this. Holy shit! Because you're not making that money back. None of you are making the money back on, on these twice hundred games. I I will put my collector reputation on it. Over years from now, you are not going to make your money back long term on this stuff. You're not. Sure. You're not, and you know why, Ian? Because we don't know how many are still out there. Yeah. yeah. If you look for completed auctions of 2600 sealed se- se- on eBay, I, I got to do it at least once, Ian. It's new. Um, you'll see. You got to get better at it. I know. I got to. I, I got to get. You know. You you'll see the pattern that's happened here. You'll see that like these were selling new old stock earlier in the year, um, even if they were like s- sealed, but there was a little sixty five dollars. Buy it now, April fifth. $80, buy it now, April 30th. It, the seals, I think, weren't 100%, but they were sealed versions. Even if you want to go nuts, on May 11th, a sealed one went for only $1,900, which is still insane to me. That could have been one that was graded and put up on an, one of these auctions or, so, or, or quickly graded it and being sold by this comic vendor at that point. Um, May 24th, a VGA one went for uh, $1,469. So even if you want to say that, and that's an open bid one, so... The marketplace obviously is not established, but we're talking about within a month, these radically different prices within two months going from an $80 game to $9,000. Like this is just insanity to me. And I think last week when I looked, there was ones even further back in the year that were literally saying like multiple ones that were pulled from a shipping box earlier in the year. Really? Yeah. (laughs) That could be these ones being graded now. This, This is... This is ludicrous to me. If you want to, if you want to say, well, it's it's, it's paying ten thousand dollars for a statement is insane. That at least is a, 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 a legitimately rare game that you will not find easily. Right. It's always going to have um, its rarity. At the very yes. least, it will always have its rarity. <clears throat> You're not going to find a billion more of these. I can't even tell you an equivalent to this because I don't remember seeing something this not rare go for for this amount of money. Yeah. This is beyond, to me, Beanie Baby stuff at yeah, this point. It's, it's wild. Because it's happened so quickly here. Sean, our buddy Sean from Reserve Investments did a full video on this. I'll, I'll link it. Uh, you can check it out here. But I would love to now know in the past, since these, since these crazy speculators have only been doing this for, again, a year and a half at most, what, what Atari dealers out there that are now getting whiff of this or had went and graded and who's actually selling these at auction now? Right. Because now you're going to have these up for auction probably every month, they're, and they're going to keep slipping in, in value. They have to. Oh yeah. Because these people are going to figure out, wow, I just saw one go for nine grand or seven grand or six grand, and now there's ones keep coming up. These these aren't rare. They're going to at some point reason's going to enter their mind that these are not rare. Yeah. At some point, these people are going to go, oh, oh, I don't know. I what don't the- need to pay nine thousand for this. It's like, oh, why weren't these selling for this amount of money before me and my crazy fit friends jumped in on this? Why is that? These were I could have bought this for for five bucks ten years ago, and now it's a ten thousand dollar game. That seems rational. No, it doesn't. There's there's no sustainable collecting market that acts like that at all. For it to be sustainable, it has to naturally, organically, over time, get established. Rare Star Wars toys didn't jump up in value overnight. It, it took decades for that to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Even even the Steam events took. 20 years to get to the point it's gotten at but even back then it was it went for the most amount of money it was known to be a hard to find game even in the late 90s yeah yeah i mean it was going for hundreds 500 yeah (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) so it always was ahead of the curve Mm -hmm. spider-man was never a game where wow this is going to go for a premium because it's spider-man right logic has to come in at some point about Math, math, rarity, supply and demand. I don't want you bringing up math. How many? How many are still there? I don't have a pat math button uh, to hit here. 
Just um, the sound of a car crash. I, I sometimes there's been times where I got close to the decimal point, Ian. <laughs> very, very hurtful to me the past couple <clears throat> weeks. First, you can't say I can't work at a restaurant. Now you say this. So I I don't know what else I can say upon upon this. This is I mean, it's 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 lunacy. I mean, it's lunacy. That's the best thing I can say. I want to make sure I had the price of the one that went for nine point eight. Correct. I, I believe it was around around nine thousand dollars. It maybe was several thousand. It, it was several thousand dollars. It was keyword Spider Man, Spider Man. I'll put in Spider Man, Wada, and see what comes up here. And then I'll do sold listing. Are they are they keeping this like? And by the way, there's already another nine point eight A plus plus sealed for auction to go off eighteen days from now. Right, because I that, guarantee you, because this, this that is person one, isn't going to get their nine thousand. They're realizing that they're not going to get their two thousand. They want to get that one thousand. This is some person that's had these has probably. Uh, multiple shipping cases mm -hmm. that realize, wow, I can, so let's see what, what idiots will pay for this. I have 20 of these laying around. The grays are exactly the same. There's been one a month. This is, I, I almost guarantee you the same person that went and got these grayed all at once and is now making bank on these mm -hmm. one mm -hmm. at a time. Making bank. Why can't I find the sold, uh, the, the sold pass one? Are they hiding the, the one that sold for a lot for months ago? I'm not uh, saying Heritage Auctions is, is, is hiding this. But I cannot find the one from a month ago by doing a simple search of Spider-Man and WADA. Why can't I find it? Most recent sales. Last active. Most recent sales. It's not coming up. Why is it not coming up, Ian? I don't know. Maybe they don't want you to know. View past or sold. Okay, here we go. Okay, a 9.6 just went for, on June 1st, went for... Uh, 3360 So the better graded one, Ian, just went for $600 less than the awful 9.6. And that, of course, went for thousands uh, below. Okay. They weren't hiding it. I don't want to cast aspersions. It went for $9,000 at 9.8. Jeez Louise. On um, May 1st. So six weeks later, Ian, that's a drop of Pat Math. That's almost two thirds. That's like 60% drop. Jesus. That's less. Yeah. 2700 2700 divided by 27 divided by 90 Is that insane? Yeah, it's absolutely fucking wild. That's 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 th that's 30% of it. It dropped 70%. It dropped 70%. I I I can't wait to see what the next one goes for. I can't wait to see what this next one goes for. Again, we'll all the same thrilling. grades. These are 9.8s. <clears throat> These are three 9.8s in a row. 9000 to oh, a June fifteenth one sold for forty two hundred, so that already slipped to less than fifty percent. Jeez! And then the last one just went for for twenty six sixty. That's that's falling off a cliff week by week. Wow! So I we skipped over the one on June fifteenth that went for forty two hundred. I went I went straight to the last one that went on June twenty second here. So. It's interesting that this, these last auctions have a lot less 2600 games. I wonder why. Because people are realizing that they're not fucking worth anything. Well, but if I saw the adventure one go up, I, I'd want to put my, uh, you know, my adventure up and get a few thousand for a game that's legitimately probably worth 150, 200 dollars. Sure. You know what I mean? It's just interesting that I wonder if this is gonna, I wonder if this is gonna really train some of these, uh, you want to call them collectors or speculators so may maybe i should start looking up this stuff to making sure i know what the hell I'm, I'm talking about yeah maybe when i see pat in person at a convention i shouldn't just yell at him saying you don't know what you're talking about when i've only figured out video game collecting was a thing for the past year danielle maybe you shouldn't do that maybe you should start talking maybe hey hey guy hey you know like hey uh someone like a uh, good old uh you know like uh rick weiss hey you know uh you've been collecting atari 2600 games for like 25 years are these rare at all and, and, and learning about the history of this stuff, you know? Right. Maybe, maybe you do that. Maybe you do that. 